What's up guys, welcome to Hardwin82 channel, my name is Adam and in today's video I'm gonna do a quick review about my newest purchase, the laptop Acer Aspire 5 model A515. So what do I think about that and a few more things, let's find out. <music> Alright, let's cut to the chase. Quickly, few most important things. Laptop. This laptop has 15.6 inch screen, has an AMD Ryzen 5 processor, 512 gigabytes of storage, 8 gigs of RAM, full HD screen with IPS technology and the AMD Vega graphic card. All right, guys, let's talk about the first impressions. First impressions are very good. The laptop is ultra thin. It is because of the CPU installed in that laptop. The Ryzen 5 processor here was designed for ultra thin laptops. It's only 15 watts TPD, which means it doesn't require a lot of power to run normally so if it takes not enough power that means it's not generating too much heat so i will show you this later but uh, because this laptop is ultra thin you will notice that the heat pipes are also very thin so the whole design is a very interesting it's a very thin laptop it doesn't weigh too much feels very nice in in hand the front cover is aluminium very nice touch, feels, feels nice in the hand. On the left side you have a power connector, internet connector, HDMI, two USB 3.0 and a USB Type-C. On the right side you have a microphone jack, USB 2.0 and at the end you have this Kensington lock. Also worth mentioning, the laptop has very narrow bezel. The laptop at the moment costs in UK around 550 pounds. I've seen that laptop in US market for 500 and something dollars. It's a very good price for the thing you will you will get. You have very powerful CPU. You have enough of storage and enough of um, RAM memory. Also, something that is not very common in uh, laptops in that price range is uh, IPS monitor. The biggest difference between IPS and previous generations like a VN and a TN panels is uh, depth of colors. It is hard to explain. You will notice this as soon as you look at the screen. Is, there is a huge difference between IPS panels and uh, previous generations. The image is so clear and the colors are so beautiful, there is no, no question about that. So if you can, try to get the laptop with IPS panel like, like I did. Acer claims that the laptop will last around 8 hours and I must say that is a true. That is a true if you don't push the laptop too, too much to the limit. In normal everyday using, like internet browsing, doing something simple like writing emails, the laptop will actually last 8 hours, mainly because of the CPU installed. The newest Ryzen 5 here doesn't take too much power, like I said before it's only 15 TPD, which means basically that doesn't require too much energy to run properly.
The keyboard layout is very nice. You have everything you need and also feels right when you, when you use it. All right, let's talk about the second impressions. I told you about the first impressions, about the general look, general feeling of the laptop, but what are the second impressions? Second impressions were quite bad. As soon as I open the laptop and I log into the Windows operating system, this freaking thing starts to be super loud. My first thought was, wow, something is wrong. Probably there is some kind of malfunction and I need to go and bring this laptop back to the store. The fans were spinning on the maximum speed. The laptop was so freaking loud. Everything was so sluggish. I was sure that something is wrong. Quick look at the task manager and I've noticed this freaking thing had so many things pre-installed and those things tried to do. I'm not even sure what they tried to do. They used the bandwidth. They were connecting to some servers. They were sending data, downloading data. CPU was almost 100%, tried to do update, tried to... Basically, the laptop was in use 100% almost on everything. So the next half an hour, maybe probably even longer, I spent on uninstalling that shit, basically. The laptop was full of third-party apps, you have no idea. There was a video I made recently, I think it was like a month ago, five things you need to do after you buy a brand new laptop. If you have similar experience with your brand new laptop, I suggest you to watch that video. I'm explaining step by step what to do. So basically, in few sentences, you need to uninstall the software you will not ever use. Secondly, disable background apps. And after those two things, probably you will be good to, to go, but there are a few other things like uh, debloat your windows and etc. So have a look at this video. I will try to post it here, somewhere here. So have a look at this video. As soon as I did that, the whole experience changed. I didn't hear that fan working on maximum speed ever again. The windows was very responsive. At the end, this is six core CPU, so I shouldn't have had this problem anyway at the first place, but it is what it is. So I have this laptop a few weeks now and I can tell you only the good things about that. The price is good. What you get for the money is really impressive, especially because of the CPU, because of the panel installed here. Also, ability to upgrade is also amazing.
right guys thank you for watching me and if you found it interesting consider subscribing don't forget to smash that like button if you want if not that's okay and i will see you next time thank you